With the release of the new Mulan, it's time to stop and rank all three Disney Mulan movies from my least favorite to my favorite. So let's get into it. What's going on guys? This is Joshua aka Future Film Maker 3940 Reviews where I talk movies, TV, and music and thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for when newest videos are posted and set to premiere as well as post in my community tab. Otherwise, you might not get any notifications to any videos, live streams, or community posts. And stay tuned this week because we have a bunch of stuff coming for you here on the Epitaph and this here. So we are going to stop and rank all three Mulan movies from the worst to the best that's made by Disney. That means the 1998 version, the 2005 direct-to-video sequel, or 2004, and the latest live-action film directed by Nikki Caro. This is my personal ranking, so if you don't like the list, Please do not get angry. And with that being said, let's get started. Coming in third place is Mulan 2. Now, a lot of people I know, especially on YouTube, especially the reviews, they are, have not been very kind to this movie. And while I will say that this is nowhere near as strong as the first one, I don't think this is a terrible movie. I think Mulan 2 has a lot of good things to offer here. I do like the themes that they're trying to represent here of marriage and trust and relationships. I do like the animation here once again. The voice acting by everyone is great. Ming the Win, B.D. Wong, even the, th the three sisters I really like, especially Lucy Liu, and we all know Lucy Liu. Payback. Me love you. Time. <laughs> Even Charlie's Angels 2000 and full throttle. Your procedures of approval ensure that only the least radical ideas are rewarded. Meanwhile, your competition is innovating. What was the last suggestion you made to your boss? I thought the Coke machine should be free. Why? Because caffeine helps us program. Perfect. But I think Mulan 2, there is a lot of good things in here, like I just mentioned. And while I do miss Eddie Murphy as Mushu, I will say the a voice actor that got here to voice him does a good job in the role. And also I do like the, the musical numbers here and a lot of the comedy here. Now, it's not not as strong as of a story when you compare it to the first one but I do think Mulan 2 this is one of the better direct video Disney sequels and it's one of the better animated sequels that has gotten that is better than what people give it credit for but the reason why this is number three of course is that when you compare it to the original or even the remake it kind of doesn't hold up but it's nowhere near a terrible movie. In second place is the newest live action interpretation from 2020 directed by Nikki Caro. Now I did review all three of these movies. So those reviews will be in the description box down below or a title card. But Mulan 2, I think, to 2020, I think this is definitely one of the better live action Disney remakes that we have gotten. It's up there as far as my favorites with the Jungle Book 2016 and Peach Dragon. Now, of course, some people has been review bombing this movie on IMDb. And according to the Rotten Mail score, audiences are pretty freaking mixed on this movie. Most of them really hate it for the changes they made. Most of them really like it for the changes they made. I'm on the like it side. Now... The problem that people have with these Disney Live remakes is that when you when they make one, they're they're the same thing over and over again. This and remakes like Dumbo and Peace Dragon and this one basically here's the, the criticism of that out 
and tries to go in its own direction while paying honor to its source material. And I'm just going to use the clip from the notebook. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's... do you want? God damn it. What do you want? It's like you can't we can't enjoy anything anymore even if you do remake it enough to where it's not the same thing but i think mulan 2020 did a lot of things right it still has mulan as a strong character it still has great cinematography and the yeah, in the action scenes and some of the way the action scenes are edited are very nice it is pretty colorful especially for a serious version of mulan and of course, I did like the cast of Lou Yafei as Mulan. I think she was a great successor to Mean the Win, which you do have a cameo by Mean the Win and the, the actress's daughter. You do have Jet Li as the Emperor, which I thought he did good. I will, Jason Scott Lee, Donnie Yen. And also, the music in this movie is really nice. I don't think that this is. This is one. This is the worst remake of them all. This isn't the nail in the coffin. And if Disney wants to keep doing these live action remakes, instead of doing the same exact movie, I think they should learn from this movie, Dumbo, and of course, Pete's Dragon 2016. Instead of doing this, uh, doing the same exact thing, go in your own direction. So if you're gonna do Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, you're going. You can go in your own direction. And I am hoping that with this, they do go and step in the right right direction with their live action remakes. It does have its plot problems, with some of more characterization from some of these newer characters, and it, the movie could have at least been a little twenty extra minutes longer. But still, I found myself loving Mulan twenty twenty a lot more than I thought I would, and definitely one of my favorite and one of the most underrated movies of the year. But as my number one favorite Mulan movie, it is the 1998 original, and this pretty much holds a special place in my heart. I did a full-on, almost hour-long review of this movie, just breaking down, very informative, very... And I took a lot of notes in that review, and the 1998 Mulan, I watched both of them, again, to get ready for this one. Now, I gotta say Mulan, 1998s. 22 years later, it still holds up. And this also pretty much holds a special place in my heart because this does come out, this did come out in the year I was born. So that's also a reason why I'm kind of pretty close to this movie. But the animation here, this is a well animated, well, well done Disney movie that not a lot of people talk about in the Renaissance era. When they want to talk about Disney movies from the Renaissance era. They love bring up Aladdin. They bring up all Beauty and the Beast. But all it's like Mulan here is almost rarely talked about. This animated version of Mulan, it did a great job at telling the Mulan story while taking it in the usual Disney direction. Eddie Murphy, I think, is very funny as Mushu. He's very awesome. I did like the villain, played by the late Miguel Ferrer. About Shane Yu, I, B. D. Wong as Lee, Lee Shang. I thought it was very good. You have some great action sequences, great story, great determination of your female character. She go, she goes through struggle here. Mean the Wind does a great job in the role. You have great musical numbers, and this did put Christina Aguilera on the map. This was with the reflection song, which I will be doing a reaction to the newer version after I record this, so you're probably, you're gonna get a lot of Mulan stuff. From the, so, the animation is still really great. Mulan is a strong character. I don't really have too much more to say. If you wanna go watch my f almost hour long review of the film, it's definitely up on my channel. I know there's other Mulan movies out. I know they did use the character of Mulan in Once Upon a Time, which that was very nice to see. But anyways, that was my ranking of all three like Disney Mulan movies from the worst to the best. If you enjoyed this, in the comment section down below, how would you rank them? We're all going to have different opinions, so please try and be fair. Because I know there are some people who really love this new one, and there are some people who really don't like this new one, or you're in the middle. Be, please be fair. And with that being said, 
follow all my social media links in the description box down below if you want some money to my time or you want some fan mail you can do that as well and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video you guys keep it cool enjoying the epitaphness i'll see you